gather around, gather around, grab whatever you be snacking on and sipping on because I'm going in. Whoever this message is for, you are like a celebrity and you all are not understanding that you already do things to perfection and you are getting a very strong message to put it down to go outside and play. It's like the recess bell is ringing and you're like, no, you know, I just want to write this essay one more time in cursive. Let me write it in Spanish. Like, no, bestie, go outside and play. You're already doing it well. Whatever you're doing, bestie, you are already doing it and you're doing it well and you're very hard on yourself. You are being given a new chapter. It's you're out here looking for a sign and your angels, your ancestors are saying, go outside. Start living your best life. Seize the moment because it's only going to fuel your creativity. It's only going to help you meet new people it's just gonna bring in a lot of new things so i don't know i'm just i get this excited feeling for you but people are definitely trying to scope your social media you're going to be making very str uh strong eye contact with people you're going to catch people looking at you you're going to look back at them and their heart is going to stop people that are trying to peep what you're doing their heart is stopping their heart is like palpitating because they've never seen anyone like you you're like ai to them or a, a disney character a celebrity you are a celebrity in your own right whoever i'm speaking to this new chapter will entail everything being a two-way street so people either have to get on board and there has to be the same loyalty, the same respect, the same type of communication, or it's a no. There are some people that you just cut off. I'm getting family members, possibly a friend, and they know that they cannot take advantage of you anymore. I'm The download that I'm getting is whoever you recently cut off, They've been telling lies about you and replaying the past for clout to stay relevant. Somebody has been replaying the, the past or talking about you to stay relevant. What does that tell you? People are seeing you glow up. They're seeing that you're getting it all. They think that you live in a fantasy world that what you've got is not realistic. It's not fair. These people could have been a part of that, but they're not. There are a couple of people, I'm getting strong family, but I'll pull um, some other messages to figure out the who, the what, and the when. Whoever these people are, they are holding on to the past because they have not seen you in a long time. They don't have any current new, they don't have any current information. They don't have any new tidbits to give people that are asking about you. And so for clout, people are using your name. Wow. These people were telling other people embellished information about you as well. You guys caught on to this. Wow, I'm getting a lot of messages. You guys caught on to this. That this person was using you or trying to be wishy-washy or trying to play both sides. So you cut this person off. And now they regret it. This person regrets trying to go back and forth. This person regrets being two-faced. They regret trying to play you in the other side because you already knew it was going to happen. Oh my gosh, this is intense. This person feels dumb, okay? The message I'm getting is this person feels dumb because now they see that they chose the wrong side. You guys knew that this person was being a flip-flopper. So you left them alone, okay? You guys were really kind to some people while they were being mistreated, okay? I'm going to say that again. You guys were being kind to some family members or some friends that were being mistreated. They were being bullied. 
They were being breadcrumbed. And what you did was you took care of them. You shielded them. You honored them. You helped them out. You could have helped them out financially. And they burned you. They literally burned you. And so what you did is you intuitively cut them off because you knew that they were up to no good. They weren't, they weren't uh, at the end good at playing both sides, I guess. And you knew that once you had nothing to do with them, that them being up on this pedestal, they would be flat on their face. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? Okay. So this is like you protecting them and shielding them, them turning against you. You being like, okay, you're on your own. And the only reason that those other people were even being nice to them. So when you came into the picture, they started being nice to them. Oh, we love you. We love you. We love you. Come hang out with us. Come to the dark side. We have cookies. And they're like, I like cookies. Forget collective. It's fine. Well, once you pulled back your energy and you started empowering yourself again, like to the umpteenth degree, now they see that <laughs> there's no more cookies. The cookies are gone. I cannot. I can't. Okay. You guys are a celebrity. You guys are the word on the street. Even better. Okay. Because I know some of you guys are going to be like, I don't want to be a celebrity. You guys know what I mean. People be talking about you a lot. You might as well be a freaking stinking blinking celebrity. Okay, that's how much people be talking about you at work, in your family, in the neighborhood, at the grocery store, everywhere, everywhere. And as these people are staring at you, trying to get a response, trying to get a reaction, you're going to look dead at them and they're going to wish they didn't do that. Because you guys are putting distance between yourself and others right now. Somebody, you could have put somebody on the map. You guys really invested in some people and now they see that they just got played. They got breadcrumb. They got loved bomb. They got gaslit. And now they're feeling basic. Okay. They are feeling like I got to take a lot of selfies. I need some instant gratification. I'm obsessed with myself, but not really. They're, in, they're insecure. Their confidence is like in the toilet because you really breathed life into this person. And they did not repay that with anything great. But using your name and your in for any information you gave them for clout, for attention, like, oh, I know so-and-so, da-da-da-da-da. And then they started running out of steam. They started running out of information. And so they were no longer relevant. You guys pulled back your energy and you made these people irrelevant. Damn. Now they, they couldn't tell a good story if they wanted to. Because they just keep replaying the same story. And they're like, yeah, you know, we've heard that. They're at, they're at the coffee shop with their friends like, Oh my gosh, remember, remember, remember. And it's like in Mean Girls, okay, because we have the burn book here. It's like in Mean Girls where it's like the word vomit. All of the people that you've now made irrelevant, they still can't stop talking about you. And it's like when Lindsay Lohan in the movie was like, I just couldn't stop talking about her. And Janice is like, I've heard that one before. I, you've said that one before. Like, it's played out. <laughs> because they don't have any new information. You're not giving them anything. You are not giving them anything. Somebody got caught going in circles. Somebody got caught trying to sabotage you. That was a bad idea. You guys are just... You've elevated. You've gone through an awakening. You see... Family members differently, friends differently, bullies differently. And this person could never make a decision. You guys released people that could never make a decision 
to properly be loyal to you, to stand by your side as you did for them. And now that you see them, all the people that you see through now, they are like shook, heart palpitating, lights out. They're, they're like, oh my gosh, they know. Oh my gosh, you know, uh, J. Cole, she knows. She knows. Yeah, they're like, she knows. <laughs> he knows. Heart stops when, I, when, when you look at me. The, all these people, big and small, that they were only relevant when they were speaking about you. They breathe more life into that than, than their own things. They're not feeling the greatest right now because they know that they did you dirty and they know that you know. Oh my gosh, I'm going to share that song with you guys if it lets me. Okay, because you guys know the like whole conspiracy with that right now. But it's one of my favorite songs. Um, if you guys have been with me a while, then you guys already be knowing that because I share it all the time in my shorts. You guys are going to be cuffed to fun. Spirit is putting you in time out and going to be putting little wrenches and things in your way to not let you just be working. The creativity has to flow. Your inner child has to be thriving in this chapter. You are going to be in the honeymoon phase. You're no longer going to be at home just like cooking and cleaning. I do feel like you guys are going to be organizing. But no more waiting. Spirit is saying no more waiting. It is time to go out and play. And it has to be a two-way street with lovers and friends. We have I'm over it. Not dealing with BS, taking the control back. This is how everyone around you is thinking. They're like, she knows. Collective knows. They know that I was talking crap. They know that I tried to steal from them. They know I tried to block their blessings. Like, they know. Ooh, I'm so sharing that song. Maybe I'll find, like, the lyrics version to share. Because it was definitely taken off of this platform. Now, I feel like it could have been because of, like, Rock Nation. It could have been because of you know, the conspiracy rabbit hole that everybody's down, but I believe it is only being effed with on this platform. Isn't that crazy? So anyways, a little sidebar. You are over it. For a period of time, when you were dealing with these people, you were numbing the pain, you were trying to tell yourself like, no, it's not them, it's not them, they wouldn't do that to me. But now you guys are clear-headed. The fog is being lifted and you are remembering who you are. There is some type of status like you are a you are an icon. You are a symbol of manifestation, making your dreams come true. But either way, you are no longer going in circles with the same people. And now they see that they are irrelevant because they don't have you to talk about anymore. They can't, they don't have a new story. They don't have a new jam. They don't have new information. So things are changing in your life. And where you guys are manifesting a new beginning, this new beginning is coming in. In disbelief. The people that you've recently cut off and some of the bullies in your life, they refuse to accept that what you're doing and how you're maneuvering is true or it's real, okay? You guys have been leveling up in big ways and you guys have a lot of people around you shook. They're just like with their head down like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they're really going to do that. I can't believe they're really going to leave. I can't believe that they're really going to stand up for themselves or uh, just walk away from me because I'm seeing that you guys are going through different separations, creating a divide and... Making sure there's space between you and other people's whatever, their BS, their drama, not your circus, not your monkeys. You guys are seeing that you're not with the drama and you're going to be a lot more stoic. You're going to be having a good old time, a grand old time. And that's the thing. Even though you're going to be stoic with these people, a whole block of ice, you're going to be out there living your best life. And this is why they're, they're just, they hate on you. 
these people, the only thing that they can keep coming up with when they're talking about you is that you're really into yourself, that you think you're the best, that you think you're the bee's knees, that you are self-obsessed, superficial, overconfident, bossy, a know-it-all. That's all they got. And they just keep repeating it. I literally can't. They don't want to admit that they're jealous. They don't want to admit that they're sprung. I'm definitely going to pull out some charms. Let's see if we can get um, who these people are that are doing this. But you are going to be cuffed to fun. You are going to be cuffed to love. Cuffed to this new chapter. You guys were uh, standing outside of a timeline. Like looking at the gate. Looking at the quantum leap like oh i'm not ready for that because fun is on the other side being liberated is on the other side you're so used to um keeping your head down keeping your nose in the books that everything's going to be different now we have fed up okay so one of the people doing this I'm getting that they've been taking a lot of notes on how you maneuver. This is weird. Okay, they've been taking notes on, on how you take care of yourself. Like this person's covered in sticky notes. So whoever you guys are dealing with, they're very, they're, they're trying to observe you. They're trying to peep everything that you do. But again, I tell you guys this all the time. They wouldn't be able to land or follow through. They wouldn't be able to actually execute any of these things properly. if Even if they had the map, which they think they do by watching you. Um, you guys have some really obsessed people Okay, we have fairy tale, phony, trickster, illusions. They want people to know that what you got going on is not a fairy tale. What you got going on is an illusion. You're not really a born leader. You're not really chosen. You're not really um, doing well. They really want to believe that. Like to their core. Oh yeah, I know them. They're a phony. They're a trickster. They're a liar. They're this. But... Deep down, like, why else would they be trying to observe every move you make of how to obtain this fairy tale? You know what's sad? Some of these people make more money than you, and they're still not happy. Some of these people, like, they just don't, they're so ungrateful. Yeah, this person is definitely someone that you've known for a while. And again, off of pictures, photos, memories, uh, milestones they use your name to stay relevant that's all they talk about constant word vomit like i gotta stay relevant so i'm just gonna talk about them talk about them talk about them like look at this a whole clown this person um that you guys are that you, this person that you guys have cut off they're ashamed of their behavior but they're not, like, they're embarrassed. Yeah, we have goodbye. They are crying over you. They know that you're walking away. They know that you're leaving. What in the world? Feeling like, feeling like this. So... If this is family or your coworkers or your friends, they feel caught. They feel like they've been caught red-handed. They feel like crap because you were always being so kind to them and so helpful and supportive and loyal. And now they see you like, whoa, they see that I'm a phony. They see that I'm a liar. They see that I'm a trickster. Like they're a whole hater. This person also tried to trap you. Affirm it below. I am the test. I am the bait. I am the trap. This person thought like it would be so easy to set you up. You know how many times this person's tried to set you up and has failed? 
this person could have tried to set you up on a uh, FaceTime. They could have tried to set you up in a phone call or a three-way. Uh, not that kind. The phone kind. Do you know what I mean, though? They were trying to set you up and, like, make you look bad. Or they were trying to set you up and tell you some really bad news. I get this person was trying to uh, shock you with something and, like, nothing really shocks you guys like that. You're just moving on and letting go. You wish them well. You are sad about, you know, how they let you down, but you knew that it was coming. You somewhat expected it. You knew that, like, them being on your side or being supportive of you wasn't going to last very long. You were literally wishing them well, like, okay, well, we no longer have any type of connection. Know that. You might not even be telling them. They just know. They know by you not answering, leaving them on red, leaving them on scene, that you are the bigger person. You are the bigger person. But, again, there are a lot of people that are envious of you. They, they couldn't trap you. This is a karmic lesson for them. They could not trap or bait you. So basically, whoever this is, they were trying to set up new traps and new ways to lure you in so they would have something else to talk about. They need to stay relevant. And so they want to bring you in and say, oh my gosh, can you believe? They want to tell you shocking news, see your reaction, and then go talk about that for a freaking week. That's really sad. We have my way. This person is selfish, stubborn, arrogant. They have... A lot of issues with their pride and ego. They're definitely missing you. This could have been somebody that you were dating or somebody that you were married to. And now you're just about self-love. Anybody that wants to bump heads with you, you're like, sorry. Leave a message. Leave a message. I can't, I can't answer right now. Yeah, these people feel basic without you. It's just like haters haters okay let's get some cards and see what else is going on because we're not enjoy this celebrity moment okay we have the fighter jet you guys turn lemons into legacies these people they can't believe it they just think like you're too good to be true that you try to you try to act like you're perfect we have the angel number 33 you guys could really like some ice cream or you're going to be going out for ice cream or yogurt tonight Okay, it's this next chapter or this chapter that you are at the beginning of is going to be full of spontaneity. You're going to feel like a love bird. You're going to be seeing a lot of birds. You're going to be seeing a lot of airplanes. I'm just getting that, like, you guys are the, the relief. You are the spiritual relief. You are the spiritual support. This person is losing a lifeline. They are losing support. We have the letter B. We have the Page of Pentacles. The Wishbone. The Orange. I feel like this person tried to hand you... An orange, like, oh my gosh, you want this orange? But it was like a whole lemon. Like, you would have given some of these people the world. You just wanted them to grow. You wanted them to learn. You wanted them to do better. And they just couldn't do that. They just literally could not do that. Yeah, this person was definitely trying to slow you down. They are definitely trying to, like, they're trying to make you be like the turtle, but you're the frog, and you just hopped right over them. You just hopped right over their drama, hopped right over their pettiness. You guys are going from rags to riches. You guys help people believe that they can be a better version of themselves. Other people that are very grateful for you and why you're like this celebrity, why you're the word on the street, is you guys help people see that they can also soar, that they can stand up and fight. That they are completely capable. You guys help people see the better version of themselves. You help them show, or you show them like, there's the key. You can unlock this, this life and that you guys deserve that. So you guys are definitely a spiritual teacher of some kind. And you've had to fight off and ward off a lot of negative energy. 
You have a very strong spiritual support. Ooh, I'm hearing a Harley. Oh, we have the umbrella. Ella, Ella, A. Do you want to build a snowman? Somebody here could like the movie Frozen. Again, you guys look like a character or a celebrity or you just look like somebody that's like iconic, like a model or like you do something important. People look at you and they're like, I don't know what they do, but they look real important. And then you have other friends that don't really know what you do. They don't know that you're an activist, a humanitarian, a spiritual teacher, a guru. You're just anointed, period. So these people are going to be out in the rain, but they could have been standing under your umbrella. We also have the letter C. I'm hearing Eye of the Tiger. These people effed up. Okay. I feel like this is representing the Ace of Cups. And we have the smiley face. You're just going to be so happy. You're going to be singing louder, speaking louder. Maybe normally you try to keep some opinions or views to yourself. But if you guys do have a platform or a way of speaking to a, a large audience, you're going to be using that more to help people through certain things that are going on. You guys can also be in Aries or Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Yeah, people that tried to spin this web of deceit, they didn't even realize you're not in the web, okay? The whole time they're like, oh yeah, I caught them doing this and I caught them doing that and you're not even in there. You're like outside building a snowman. You guys could definitely be late bloomers. I'm getting a lot of flowers. We have the unicorn. We have the two of pentacles. They like it when they drain your energy or zap your energy. And maybe this is why you guys stop talking to this person. Because you would talk to them and try to get on the same page with them. And every time you would leave crying or upset or just feeling more miserable they have a they're very sneaky with siphoning energy they make it seem like it's for work or it's necessary and it's not necessary i'll get some more initials for you guys okay we have l k b c and n yeah, we have Judgment, the Queen of Pentacles. You guys are definitely going to be independent, spending more time out in the sun. You guys could be going to the beach. You guys could be watching movies. You guys could like Batman, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises. You guys could like lollipops. I'm just getting that you guys are going to be, again... When the bell rings, it's like the recess bell. And you're inside still like, no, let me finish this. Let me write it down one more time. And your teacher's like, go outside and play. God is saying, go outside and play. Stop trying to perfect something. You already do well. Affirm it below. I am already doing it and I'm doing it well. Okay. I am doing it and I'm doing it well. Your cutoff game, you guys are being rewarded for your cutoff game right now. So you guys drop your scissors down below. You guys are going to be independent. You guys aren't going to have to rely on these people. And I'm even getting that, ooh, judgment again. You guys are being blessed right now because you stopped helping these people. I tell you guys all the time, when you start withdrawing your energy and retracting your energy from people that don't mean well, your life will be lighter. Your life will be blessed. And so you are waking up to the fact that, unfortunately, you're going to have to let some people go. And it's just going to bring you more success. It's going to bring you more happiness. You're going to meet new people. Yeah, you guys are attracting... Or you're keeping people around that also help build you up. They don't drain your energy. They don't try to slow you down. Yeah, you have blessings coming in fast. 
world uh word is spreading like wildfire that there's something very unique and special that you do you guys have a rare unique gift with speaking using your voice because remember we have the microphone drop your microphones down below these people feel bad because they know you are more than fair, but they can't help themselves. They can't help themselves with trying to make you look like the bad guy. Dang. For those of you in love, it's just going to be amazing right now. It's going to feel like you just met this person. We have devil energy. Devil energy trying to stop this union. Trying to turn you guys against each other. Something's being exposed with a home. Or somebody trying to burden you with a home or in the home. That could be a family member trying to live with you or trying to use you. A roommate issue, a landlord issue. That is going to be coming to light. Okay. Somebody that has been deceitful or dishonest because that neighbor uh roommate is very jealous of your love i'm getting there's so much jealousy surrounding your relationship you guys just reached a breakthrough and this breakthrough um for those of you in union this breakthrough was not easy and you guys really had to fight to get there and so many people try to stop you and so spirit is really wanting you just to go out there and enjoy it enjoy this breakthrough you guys are a savage you are a beast like literal beast mode oh my gosh i love it i love it can i have one more and i'm gonna pull out my deck Ooh, i'm hearing another motorcycle how many times have i gotten this I love this card. I think that's a helicopter. Yeah, you guys had people hovering over you thinking like they knew everything. They had they tried to jot down all this information. You guys just had people trying to stay relevant, trying to be important. They see you as a threat. They see you as a threat. And they're like, oh my gosh, like why can't I be like that? Well, let me sabotage them while talking crap about them. But you're ready. You've been training for this. Affirm it below. I have been training for this. I am the spiritual knockout. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let me get some from my deck. And see what else is going on. Affirm it below. I've been walking on sunshine. Dirty plants up in smoke. So much is being revealed. If you guys are channeling a lot of messages, messages you definitely maybe want to write them down or at least like record them, a voice note. I hear fairy tales about how they're going to run up on me. Well, run up on me and we're going to see. Yeah, run up on me and we're going to see. Because these people are out there bragging i can get information from them i can find out what's going on with them and it's a brick wall dirty plans up in smoke how about that how about that how do you like me now yeah they like pointing the finger at you so now that you've removed yourself from the equation they can't point the finger at you they can't blame you for things Somebody's always drinking and driving, so it's a good thing that, like, you're not around them. You guys are about to be really proud of your heritage or where you come from or your roots. Whoa. I'm getting that these people owe the people, the, uh, owe the wrong people money. You guys gave them things with no strings attached. Now they got to go out and get things and the strings are attached. And the juice is running. Okay, the juice is running. God hid you in plain sight from your enemies. 
So you guys are starting to see some of these people that, like, didn't see you. They see you now. They try to count you out. They thought that you would be tired by now. That you would have given up by now. But that's not what's happening. Because you're getting a divine upgrade. Affirm it below. My divine upgrades are here. I am the eagle and I am leveling up big. Leveling up big spiritually. I'm still here, still still hearing the helicopter. So, yeah, you guys definitely have these monitoring chooches around you. And these people, if they're playing with magic, spell work, uh, voodoo, black magic, whatever, what have you, it's going to F with their golden child or their favorite children. They're currently going through it with their alleged golden children. You know what I mean? Like the favorites, especially if this is in your family. They're dealing with issues. This person's, this child is giving them a lot of, like, get back. So that's keeping them busy. These people are definitely thirsty. Evil eye and spell work at play. It just shot at the little bucket. Like, they don't want you living your best life. Your best life is starting now. Because you just fought through all types of spell work you just broke curses you broke chains affirm it below chains broken curses reversed i am manifesting blessings times 10 times 50 times 100 and it's time for your victory it's time for your celebration you're not gonna let anyone spoil it for you you're not gonna let anyone ruin it It's time for you guys to enjoy the hard work that you've put into your journey. You guys are going to enjoy this, this new chapter with your lover, with your, with your good friends, the people that are part of your tribe, your chosen family. Because you guys can tell them anything. This new chapter is about pleasure, fun, relaxing, liberation speaking up and being heard you guys are also realizing that your voice is being received better than you thought i keep getting the number 33 we have 33 and 33 there's some people that are really jealous about your body i'm getting that very strongly okay there's some people that are very jealous about your body and they talk um, I feel like it's because this person has dealt with a lot of body shaming and bullying, and that's probably why you guys were very protective over them, or it could be one of the reasons. And um, now that the, you're not talking to this person anymore, they're very, like, jealous or, or envious over your body. These people definitely tried to shame you. It's It's not working. It's not working. Uh, maybe in the past it would have worked, but you've changed. You guys are now in celestial alignment. You are not to be played with. You guys are seeing like I'm in my power. And me giving a you know what about them. Like you're, you've are you been working on forgiveness. You've been working on healing. So you're not really with the, with the BS. This person could also be dealing with legal matters. Whoa. You guys definitely have some people up in their feelings. So just enjoy being in alignment. Enjoy this change. Enjoy the fact that the recess bell is ringing and you can go outside and, and you don't have to um, worry as much. I'm seeing that you guys are not going to worry as much as you used to you're not going to bend over backwards for these people you're not going to um fall for their them testing you or trying to reach out to you like it's over like i'm getting those scissors strong like you're just like nah like i did right by you i i don't have to prove myself to you i don't need your validation so whatever you're you're trying like i don't need no part of that at all Okay, let's get you guys an angel number. Five, two, three. Five, two, three is your guys' angel number. If anyone wants to comment down below what that angel number means, 
Um, a message that I'm going to be working on on Patreon is going to be channeled writing messages that you need and it's going to be very specific so remember if you guys are on patreon there's no specific schedule but you have access to the entire library as long as you are a member so in case you guys were thinking about joining patreon that's just some of the things um that go on over there or you know it's it's new i try to make it new every month but um uh, you guys also get to vote. It's only 11 11 a month. Link is in the description box. Okay. And I have, whoa. We have Rescue Cat, Sea Lion, and The Dreamer. It is time for you guys to dream. You are starting a new adventure. Run free and take a leap of faith. You guys are worried. Like, what will people think if I'm not at work? What, won't people be looking for me? Like, forget them. Forget them. Go do you. Your worries and fears aren't real. They're fueled by focusing on negative, which gives power to that which you're afraid of. Stop worrying and let go of fear and everything will be okay. Okay, because maybe some of you guys um, haven't been sleeping well or you could have recently had a panic attack. I'm getting that specifically. And you're seeing that there were some fears or worries with your body or maybe you had a health scare and it was consuming you. So you're really working on like what you can control and and pushing past fear, facing your fear with confidence, because I'm getting a lot about you guys being safe, safe to maneuver, safe to dream, safe to do what you want. Challenging times are coming to an end. OK, hard times are over and you can now breathe a sigh of relief. Let go of the past and embrace the happier times ahead. Embrace the happier times ahead. Smooth sailing, okay? Drop your sailboats down below. Smooth sailing is here. Can't nobody tell you nothing. Divine upgrades are on the way, and this is your level up. So again, if anyone wants to drop below what this angel number means to them, let me know, let me know, let me know. And you guys drop your favorite affirmations. Let me know how it resonates. You guys fill the tea. Tell me everything. I love you guys so much. And don't forget to smash the you know what. Hit the bell. Duh. Y'all don't want to miss out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.